Hello, and welcome to another edition of Emotions Expert. I'm John Rushton. One of the many topics we get is all about getting upset. And people seem to get upset today for any kind of reason whatsoever. Why they get upset, I don't know. It's down to them. But a number of points come to mind straight away when people get upset. Sometimes it's a selfish aspect, i.e. I'm not getting my own way, so I'm going to decide to get upset. That way, I hope I will get some sympathy from those around me. And if I'm not getting much sympathy, I may even start to cry and hope that will solicit even more sympathy or something more, more sincere. The other thing is when people do get upset is why are they getting upset? Because it very rarely proves anything. Yes, there are certain circumstances in life when a loved one dies or something of that nature, or it could be uh, uh, something which is really, really sort of pertinent to yourself. But it seems to be sort of a de rigueur today that people get upset just because they think it's something to do. It's a bit of an emotional currency. It's something which they think it gives them some kind of trophy as to who they are, what they're doing, and validity to their thoughts and feelings. And of course, none of that's true. It's a load of rubbish. When you get upset on something which has happened, it's a conscious decision by yourself. You don't just get upset for no reason at all. You get upset because your heartstrings are pulled and it's an emotional twang within you and something happens and therefore you're getting upset. But by and large, when most people get upset today, it's because it's something which they don't like and they have decided that by getting upset, it makes it a bit lighter on the load. It makes it a bit lighter for themselves and this emotional sympathy they're getting or anything else. And it could, only could, give them an entree into getting their own way. It could mean that getting upset means eventually you'll get what you wanted in the first place, or whatever's been said or done could be rescinded, and therefore it's easy for you to get your own way again. And of course it isn't. Getting upset is one of those things which you see quite often in the media, and stupid, thick, ignorant peasants, they get upset very easily because they know it's all they have. They can't understand anything else. So what they do, they get upset for sympathy. It's one of those things also that when you do get upset, it throws everything into a bit of a flux because the people around you don't really want to get involved with your upset because they're not part of it anyway. You've decided to get upset they haven't, and they may feel even more deeply than you, but they're more controlled, they understand the situation. And when people get upset, they tend to lose a bit of their own substance, that they can't control themselves, and they say, say silly things, they say stupid things, they're not totally in control of their emotions, even if they induced getting upset, they are no longer totally in control, and they will say and do things which are not really quite right. Getting upset is something which you should only leave for those very, very precious moments. You can actually get slightly angry or a little bit hot under the collar or something of that nature if you don't like what somebody has said or there's some news on the in the media which you don't particularly like. But actually making a song and dance out of it, making a failed Hollywood drama award contest isn't going to go anywhere. In fact, if you keep on doing it, people will ostracize you because they won't want to know who you are, what you are anymore. They're fed up of you doing this time in and time again. And maybe you're one of those people who's a little bit precious and all you can say is, oh, wasn't that awful? Wasn't that bad? Oh, poor people. Oh, what about them? And all these kind of things. Something possibly which is totally out of your volition, totally out of your control, totally out of what you can do or help in any shape or form, yet you're using the sort of the substance of it to cause an effect by yourself. It's not going to work. If you find people around you who do get upset a lot, move on. It, even if they're family, and some family members do, oh, can you get me this? Oh, I don't feel so well. Oh, what about this? 
okay, you're always saying that. So if you don't feel so well, go to bed and get out of everybody's way because you're a waste of time here. You're just using a precious time that everybody else can use for themselves and be happier. Do something which is positive. Do not be frightened if you're talking of saying something which is going to upset someone else because some people are there literally waiting to get upset. They're waiting for that moment. They can mentally argue with what you're doing, say something which is against what you're doing, and then start to get upset. Don't be frightened of upsetting people. It's their choice. It's nothing to do with what you said, literally, or how you said it, or why you said it, or whatever. It is their choice to get upset, is to take an effect which is not very substantial. You do what you want to do, say what you've got to say, get it off your chest, make sure that you're understood by everybody and you're not going to have these one of these kind of situations where you're going to hold your breath and you'll never let what you want to say out. Because it's important that people understand what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, when you're going to say it, and importantly, why you're going to say it. Because if they never know, you'll never move forward. So when people get upset, predominantly ignore them.